After spending a year in a remote prison, Kem Sokar was finally able to return home, but he's not free. As Cambodians awoke to news the opposition leader was released on bail and placed under house arrest, a small number of supporters and media gathered outside his home in Phnom Penh. I'm very excited to hear that he's been released. When I first heard the news, I grabbed my shirt and came straight here. Kim Sokar was arrested in September last year on treason charges in a case widely dismissed as politically motivated. The Supreme Court then dissolved his Cambodian National Rescue Party, the largest opposition political party. More than a hundred of its members were banned from politics for five years. It came amid a broad government crackdown on dissent, with independent media outlets closed and rights workers harassed or arrested. With no credible opposition, Prime Minister Hun Sen's Cambodian People's Party won every seat in the National Assembly in July's election. Last week's swearing-in formality confirmed Hun Sen's 33-year rule would be extended for at least another five. And with that, it appears the time was right to release Kem Sokar. The release of Kem Sokar and other opposition party political leaders like me, I hope that they are shining a light, a street or a path to national unity and reconciliation. That seems unlikely at the moment as Kem Sokar still awaits trial. And never afraid to intervene in the judicial process, Hun Sen says if he goes unpunished, Cambodia will descend into civil war. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.